All right, this is going to be another example of u substitution that's a little bit on the tricky side. So I'm going to do the integral of x radical 1 minus radical x dx. So there's no uh, super obvious choice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with u equals um, the thing inside the larger radical. So u is equal to 1 minus radical x. If you look at the integral, I'm going to need to substitute for x and for dx. Um, but right now, my u has a radical x in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to solve that for um, x. So let's see. I'll end up with radical x is equal to 1 minus u, which means that x must be equal to the quantity 1 minus u squared. And if that's true, so now I know a substitution for x, and I have my substitution for u, um, I need a dx. So I'm going to take the, uh, find my derivative here. dx is negative 2, the quantity 1 minus u du. So don't forget the chain rule on that. Um, so I get this. And now I can make all my substitutions. So x is given as the quantity 1 minus u squared, and then radical u, and then dx is contributing quite a bit here. Um, so I have all of that. If you look at it, it, actually the 1 minus u is really cubed, because that shows up three times. So let's rewrite it a little bit. So we have 1 minus u cubed du. Um, I remember how to cube something, so that's the coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1, and then it's going to alternate signs, so let's do that, negative 2, and then 1, and then minus 3, and then plus 3, and then minus 1, and then I still have the u to the 1 half. Um, okay, so I'm going to go to a new page, actually. So this is what I had before. And now I'm going to distribute that u to the 1 half. So I get this. So this problem is kind of gross. Um, now I'm going to power rule this thing like crazy. So plus 1 times the reciprocal, and then plus 1 times the reciprocal, and then plus 1 times the reciprocal. And you can see that what I did with the coefficients was I just um, kind of pulled them out for now so that uh, because the power rule gave me things that were not easy to handle in my head, um, I decided to just keep the coefficients out and I would deal with them later. So now I will go through, I'm going to distribute the negative 2 and kind of simplify everything. Also at this point, uh, I don't really want to write this again. So uh, u is equal to 1 minus radical x, so I'm also going to substitute for that. So I am... Uh, really just simplifying coefficients, and I'm going to make my substitution. So the first thing is negative 2 and the 2 thirds gives me negative 4 thirds, and then substitute for u. And then negative 2 times negative 3 times 2 fifths is going to be um, plus 12 fifths, and then substitute for u. Negative 2 times 3 times 2 is going to give me negative 12 over 7, and substitute. And then negative 2 times negative 2 ninths is going to be plus 4 ninths, and then substitute, and we get that. I'm sure there's some really nice way that you can factor that. Uh, I mean, actually, I know there's something you could do, because if you look at the form that just had u in it, uh, everything had a u to the three halves in it, so I could have taken that out, but uh, I'm pretty happy with this answer. So that's how I'll leave it, and I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.